Hey everyone, today I'm going to be checking out a very strange and unique place. It's known as Holy Land USA and it's here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Now what this place is, is a religious theme park. It was built in the 1950s and it's sort of a miniaturized version of biblical locations. And when it opened up, I understand it was very successful. It had quite a few visitors, it was pretty popular. And then I think in the 80s it closed and then it just kind of was left abandoned and it fell into a state of disrepair. Um, right now it's in sort of a state where it's being somewhat maintained. I don't know if there's any restoration efforts, but it is owned by somebody and I think it's a group of nuns who take care of this place. Um, it actually says on the website that feel free to park at the gates and walk around during sunlight hours, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, very cool place, very unique and strange. Um, I also want to point out that there was a tragic murder that happened here. Um, I won't go into the details of that, but a young woman's life was taken from her. Certainly adds another level of strangeness to this place. So we're going to go take a walk around, take a look at it, see Holy Land USA for what it is. Come with me. Okay, so here we have the gates, and we're free to walk around them. And actually, it says that on the website, walk around the gates, and feel free to enter. Let's take a walk through the arch. I just gotta say, this is really low. Like, I'm six foot, I can barely fit underneath this without ducking. Right here on the hillside, we have an entire miniature biblical village. That's something else. So right here in front of the city, looks like this must have been a fountain, with like a little pond here. That must have been beautiful. Okay, so let's begin our tour of this biblical city. So here we have King Herod's palace. Now I remember him from the nativity. And it's very simply made, everything here. And it's very, kind of kind of adds to the charm that it just, was just regular people putting something like this together. This looks like it may have been the facade of a little castle right here. Just kind of crumbled. And right here in this sort of like cavern-like structure is the nativity. Is that, that looks like a part of a mannequin right there. That's pretty bizarre. But I, I love just how basic everything is here, how it's just kind of like stones and mortar and rebar. It's just, it's very simple, but you can tell there was a lot of like love and appreciation going into the building of this. And so here we have some kind of temple. I don't know what exactly this is supposed to depict, but it's an interesting looking building. And this must have been the inn. Let's see, is there anything inside here? Ah, uh, just some junk. So right here built into the hillside are all these small buildings really neat how they did that. So we have a little well here and we have a pyramid. Interesting. So here I believe is going to be Stations of the Cross. If we walk up along this path, I think that's what this is depicting. So I would guess that these little spots here were different stations of the cross that have been, I guess, just destroyed or fallen into decay.
Right here in this space, it looks like it's a depiction of the Last Supper. And this looks like it's actually rather new and well kept. So this must have been something that was part of the restoration here. Just look at this fallen temple that's made out of like sheet metal. That's amazing. Whoa. Just just look at this. Wow. This is really something else here. Better Nostra Sanctuary, Jerusalem. I don't know what that is, but this is what this was depicting. And so as we reach the end of the Stations of the Cross, it leads us up to the top of this hill where we have the three crosses from the crucifixion right here. I just want to take a moment to show you this beautiful view we have here of the town of Waterbury. They really picked an amazing spot to build this place. Okay, so off on this little side path here, Looks like we have the Tower of Babel. Well, this is pretty neat. So now I'm not sure if this is supposed to depict the tower itself or if this is like a pedestal for the tower and it's fallen over. Let's see. Oh, looks like people are using this as a trash can in a fire pit, unfortunately. Back here in this section, we can see all this like discarded terracotta and marble and asphalt. Must have been all just sort of a discarded building material used in this place. And a more recent addition to this park is this large illuminated cross. I believe this was built in the late 2000s by a Boy Scout troop. Um, this thing is, is really big. Um, I could actually see it from the highway when I was driving here. This was most definitely one of the strangest and most somber places I have visited. Um, this is a very interesting, interesting place. I really don't know what there is to be said about it. Um, are they going to preserve it? I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I kind of think it's more interesting in the state it is in right now. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.